here from Equine Energetics. <clears throat> And I wanted to share with you a bit more information about how oracle cards work and how they can help you to understand your horse better and tune in to him on a deeper level. Um, I'm using my own oracle cards. Let me just grab the box. <clears throat> This is the box. Mine's a bit battered looking um, the, because it's so well used. Um, what your horse wants you to know, messages from the horse collective. And I'm using these to demonstrate them to you. Um, and because numbers are dwindling, so um, some information that might help you decide whether you can't live without them or not before it's too late. Um, I probably won't be reprinting them because I've got ideas for other decks that I want to do. So, um, so oracle cards, what are they? Some of you might not know what oracle cards are. Please feel free to um, say hi if you're watching with me and you're welcome to ask questions if anything I'm saying isn't clear as I go along. Let me know whether you've ever used oracle cards, any other ones, um, or if you're completely new to them. So oracle cards are known as a divination tool. <clears throat> so you use them to divine things, answers basically. And essentially they are a way of tuning into your intuition. And or depending how your mind works, um, your energy. Those of you that know me and you know the the business name kind of gives it away equine energetics you know I'm all about energy right? Energy is everything. We are all made of energy and everything is connected via energy and so using a deck of cards like this is just a way of tuning into that energy and that energetic connection between you and your horse to get answers. So it's kind of an animal communication tool. It's just a different way that you can tune in and get answers. If you're not um, fortunate enough to hear streams of conversation or um, you know understand or just know exactly what it is your horse is trying to tell you or wants. So let me just, I need to see if there's any comments. Hi Dot, thanks for joining me. Um, it's nice, I always say this, but it's nice to know I'm not just talking into a vacuum. <laughs> so that's what oracle cards are. Feel free to ask questions about this at any time. Um, and so why would you use them? Well, you would use them as another animal communication tool. And, um, you know, some people just use them as a curiosity or even uh, an amusement, let's say. Oh, let's just try this and, and see what we get, you know? That's probably how a lot of people start off when they're using oracle cards. And you can get all kinds of oracle cards. I mean, just have a look on Amazon or eBay. Um, um, it might be angels or crystals or fairies. Um, you name it, you can get decks of oracle cards with particular themes. So if there's something you're really into, you can get a, your own oracle cards on those. These, obviously, because I'm all about horses, are horse oracle cards. And each, the back of each card has a unique photo on it. Whoops, just dropped them. Um, <laughs> all taken by me and then the fronts have your messages on them so they're unique they're very high quality i have to say and um, these cards um, i channeled them i created them i designed them and i got them printed locally they're not printed in china um, they've got really good energy and i've had really good um, feedback about about um, 
how much people like them and how useful they are. So you might just use them as a bit of a curiosity. Um, basically, all you do when you're using Oracle cards is shuffle them. Hold them up a bit so you can see. Whoops, shuffle the deck and you pick a card. Now, that one kind of popped up above the others, so I might think, oh, that's the card I'm supposed to pick today. And the message, <laughs> the message is, believe in me. Come on, people, believe in me. <laughs> um, but if you're picking this for your horse, that's your horse saying, believe in me. So you basically, um, if you're going one step further than just a curiosity, you're going to shuffle your cards, you're going to be thinking about your horse, and you're going to pick a card. And that's what your horse wants you to know today. So let's just pick another one. Then we'll take the one on the top. Um, so that card says, see me. You know, a lot of times, like this morning, I'm out there mucking out the paddock, picking up the poo, working around my horse, glancing at her every now and then, but we're not really connected. I'm just getting on with my chores, you know? Um, and so if I picked that, well, I did just pick that card, that might be her saying, hey, I'm right here, you know, how about a wee pat or a kind word or, you know, it's a while since we did such and such. So you just have a think about what that card could mean for you and your horse. There are deeper meanings in the booklet too for each card. Um, giving you extra information and some of them, some of the cards have extra little exercises you can do with them or maybe a mantra or something like that. Um, so, you know, you can take it as far as you want to take it. The next thing you can do with them is you can ask a specific question. Now, when you're first starting out, I would suggest your question would be something like, what do I need to know today? Or what does my horse want me to know today? Then shuffle the cards and pick your card. And then when you get even more confident or you want to go deeper than that, you can ask really specific questions. So you might, um, if you're having some specific issue with your horse, maybe he's bucking or something, you might think about that issue. You know, why is he doing such and such? Or um, what's going on with that leg that's always sore? Or whatever your question is, think that in your mind speak it even. What's going on with um, Jojo's leg? What do I need to know about Jojo's leg? Shuffling the cards and pick your card and see what message you get. Um, so you can you can treat them fairly lightly and literally just pick a card or you can get more and more specific. Um, you'll get what you're supposed to get. You'll get the message you're supposed to get. And if you pick a card and the message, you look at the message and go, oh, um, I'm, I'm looking for one to see if I can. Well, say you get this card, right? It says, show me love. And you think to yourself, oh, I'm always cuddling him and, and you know, giving him treats and you know sh surely I am already showing him love surely he knows that I love him well you can just leave it at that if you want it might be that just even seeing the card registering it remember everything is energy is enough to you know it just planted a little seed there it just reminded you that maybe he's not feeling it as much as you are or maybe he needs you to show your love in a different way for instance so um you know don't don't um don't worry about it if you think oh that's not right just let it sit 
The energy will be doing what it's supposed to anyway. And you might find that later on, you know, that evening or whatever, maybe next morning after you wake up, you might go, oh, that's what that was about. I get it. I know what that is now. So um, lots of different ways you can use them. Um, you can just be thinking about your horse. You can be actually visualising him or even looking at a photo. You know, there's no rules, really. These are all suggestions. What works best for you? Try it and see. Does it work best for you when you're actually sitting in the paddock or field with him and picking your card? You might even fan them out and see if he'll pick a card or, you know, um, shuffle them yourself pick the first three that come out and hold those three out and see which one he wants to pick for you. You know, have some fun with them, Exper experiment a little bit. If you do those sorts of things, excuse me, <coughs> I'd love to hear about it. <laughs> Tell me if you're um, playing and you know experimenting and doing different things with them. Send me a photo of you using them with your horse. I'd love that. Um, I'll come to you, Dawn. Um, so what else? Um, and the other thing, if you want, uh, so finally, if you want to take it even deeper, you could meditate on whatever um, message you get and see whether you get um, a deeper insight as to what it's about. So uh, let me know if that helps. Um, they're a really cool uh, addition to your toolbox of um, just, you know, another way that you can connect with your horse, another way that you can develop your intuition a bit more um, and to connect with your horse on that deeper level and let him know that you're listening, you're interested and you want to know what he, he wants to tell you. I mean, how cool is that? So there you go. That's my um, horse oracle cards getting in short supply. So if you're keen for a deck, get in touch with me and I'll send you the link. Um, and because um, I'm excited to start on my next deck. Haha. -ha. So Dawn asked if I would pick a card for her. So while I'm here, why not? Um, could I please have a card for Lisa said I just got lift me up oh because you've got a deck Lisa that's nice I like that one um, you know and you can read them all sorts of different ways can't you tell me what your insight was Lisa what that meant for you did it resonate that lift me up card okay so Dawn and Rocky Let's see what Rocky wants you to know today, Dawn. Um, and I've also said this. Whoop, oh, that one really jumped out. You couldn't see that, but that one really jumped out. There's the picture. Oh, it's an interesting one. Um, what I was going to say was. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, God, it's completely gone. OK. So, <laughs> Dawn, this is your card. And the message, it's an interesting one, this one. The message is connect to the universe. So, if you don't already, Dawn, maybe it's a message for you to start meditating. Um, an exercise you could something you could try is to next time you're with Rocky sit with him take some deep breaths close your eyes and just empty your mind and just be there with him if you're used to meditating you can full-on meditate but even if you just sit quietly and mindfully with him like that and think to yourself I'm connecting to the universe and just see what happens. So that's your message. Maybe he's guiding you to be on a more spiritual path. Let me know if that resonates, Dawn. 
Hi Christine, card for Apollo. Bought a deck but misplaced it. Oh no, that's no good. Well, if you need another deck, get in quick. Um, so Apollo and Christine. I guess it will turn up when and where it's supposed to. Maybe it's with someone who needed it more. It's interesting, isn't it, when that happens? Okay, now that one kind of jumped out before and it's still sticking up. So I, I think this is your card. Oh, it's a nice one. Whoops. Um, Christine, it's a nice card. It's I'm part of you. Excuse me, it's card number 11. I'm just going to look up the booklet. Oh, it opened on that page. <laughs> um, now, this is quite a good example because I don't know Christine, but I'm assuming Apollo is still alive. Correct me if I'm wrong. And um, but in the booklet, this card is talking about horses that are gone. It uh, could be a horse that's passed over or maybe a horse that you've sold. Um, and the the message is that um, I haven't really gone. I'm, I'm still part of you and always will be. Now, if your horse is still alive and still with you, you might read that and go, yeah, but he's still alive. Oh, this, this is rubbish. This That doesn't make any sense. I would interpret it in that instance as um, just him saying, um, you guys are really connected. He's part of you and it's a really special connection. So um, let me know if that resonates with you, Christine. Uh, Dawn says, oh, wow, thank you. That resonates a lot right now. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, Dawn. It's always good to hear people's feedback and interpretation. So thanks for that. Um, so I don't think there's anyone else with us right now. Dot, if you're still there and want a card, give me a shout. Um, but otherwise, I will sign off momentarily. I'll just shuffle the cards in case any more messages come in. Um, so if you're watching this on replay, um, let me know if you've ever or never used Oracle cards. Does this help to explain them to you? Is it something that you're curious about, um, interested in trying? Um, are you all about the Oracle cards? Love them and just can't get enough of them and um, use them all the time. And some people do. I've had um, messages from people saying, oh, I've got six horses and I, I, every day when I go out to work with them, one of my horses, I pull a card first and it really helps to focus me on what I need to do that day. So that's quite cool, isn't it? Um, Christine says, thanks so much. Apollo is alive and well, kid. <laughs> we have a very special bond. Yeah, so he's just acknowledging that, isn't he? It's, that's really nice. Dot says... I can't decide which horse to work with and then select a card, but often I feel I'm being led to work with another horse when that card is selected. I actually go where I feel the card is leading me. Yeah, that's great, Dot. That, that's that's it, exactly. Because they're really, um, they really are helping you to tune in and develop your intuition. And, and that's really cool that you're listening to that. So well done. Um, so a card for little Shay. Okay, I'm shuffling. Whoops. Little she. Oh, yeah, I know what I was saying before that. And then I forgot what I was saying is that <laughs> I get, I'm easily distracted um, is that um, I say this every time I'm doing this live. You'll see me shuffling the cards and shuffling and shuffling, especially the times where I've been on for an hour just picking cards for people. By the end, I'm sh it takes me a lot of shuffles before I find the right card. That's not necessarily going to happen for you. For me, it's because I'm switching that energetic connection from person to person to person, horse, horse, horse. Um, so I need to shuffle to kind of clear the last connection, move on to the next one. Um, but when you've got your own deck and you're doing it with your own horses, you'll very quickly um, 
really tune the deck into to your connection. So don't don't stress about the fact that I'm shuffling an awful lot. It's partly because I'm talking so much as well. So little shade. What is? They're sort of jumping out all over the place here. Is it one of these? No, it's not. Okay, it's that one there. <coughs> There's the picture. Hang on, try and scroll me. There's the picture. They're mostly horse eyes, but a few other things. Oh, it's an interesting one, Dot. It's please be trustworthy. So this is usually a horse that um, might have some past reason for not trusting people. Uh, maybe they've had bad experiences in the past or something like that. Um, so um you know and or they're just asking you to step up a little bit make sure just remember to be trustworthy again it's one of those things we can sort of take for granted and but sometimes we need a little reminder so just remember this horse needs you to be trustworthy especially if you expect them to trust you so let me know if that resonates dot okay where are we at we're at the end of the comments there, so I'm going to sign off. Thanks for joining. Um, I hope you found that useful. And if anyone wants the link to grab one of these decks, um, it comes in a box, 36 cards, your little booklet with all the instructions and um, extra details, and your little velvet pouch to carry them in. So just let me know if you'd like the link. Thanks for joining me. I will see you next time. Keep connecting with your horses.